What's up guys? It's your boy Chris and welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a little story. I'm going to be talking to you guys about what happened to me last month in Panama and what caused this ugly ass scar on my face to happen. Because now I have to deal with this shit for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to cry about that here. This is not the channel for that. We're going to get right to it. Last month I was traveling through Panama and I absolutely loved it. Panama is such a beautiful country. The landscapes are unreal. So many nature and outdoor activities. You should never be bored in Panama. If you're bored in Panama, you're just a boring soul. I'm not gonna talk about how beautiful Panama is here. Not in this video. So from the moment I arrived to Panama, everybody was telling me, oh Chris, you gotta go to Bocas del Toro. Bocas del Toro is the shit. They got Filthy Fridays, which is the biggest party they'd ever been to. And it's insane. And so many crazy stuff, right? Well, let me tell you a little bit about this party, guys. This party is insane. It's literally exactly what everybody says. It's a party that takes place from 11 a.m. till 2 a.m. along three different islands, so many different clubs, like thousands of people from all around the world. Everyone's fucking pissed out of their mind, listening to some amazing music on the Caribbean. What else do you want, right? I went to this party and I had an amazing time at this party. But it wasn't until around 8 p.m. that I was leaving that party. So me being a drunk dumbass, I for some reason thought it was a smart idea to head back to the hostel on my own. So that's exactly what I did. I head over to the boats, hop onto a water taxi and have a taxi take me over to the mainland so I can start the walk back to my hostel, which is only a couple blocks. I get dropped off at the mainland, start this walk back to my hostel. A couple blocks into this walk and I'm just drunk like you know, swaying. I can imagine how sloppy I look. I mean, I clearly deserved it. Some guys run up behind me and just start hitting me with the bottle to asking me for my money in Spanish. Dame tu plata, dame tu plata. Tss, tss. Smacking me across my head and across my face several times. But um, I didn't have anything on me. I kept telling them, I don't have anything on me. I don't have anything on me. And they didn't believe me. They weren't having it. They were like, no, no, no. They started searching my pocket, hit me a couple more times, and then finally left me there. After a couple minutes, this guy comes up in his car, and he's like, get in the car. Get I'm like, I don't know if this guy works with the guys that just whooped my ass. I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? I'm in Panama. Like, yo, I'm, I'm going crazy. A million different thoughts are going to my head. And I, I think I'm over here thinking I'm going to pass out. Like I'm losing so much blood, like in the middle of the jungle. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I get into this guy's taxi because I know I'm for sure fucked if I stay laying here. So I give the, I give the guy the benefit of the doubt and hop into his car. He takes me over to the emergency room and right away they start giving me the best attention. The doctor starts cleaning me up, sewing me up, showing me a lot of love and respect. And we even started shooting the shit for a while. Once he was done, he sent me on my way and he even told me that to not worry about the bill, to not worry about anything, that it was all on him. He just wanted to make sure that I got taken care of and that I didn't think badly of the Panamanian people. So, amazing people in Panama. Anyways, guys, so now I'm going to get to the not so amazing second part of the story. So, as I'm leaving the emergency room, these two cops come up to me and they tell me, Hey man, do you have your passport and your wallet on you? We need you to come back to the police station with us to do a couple witness statements and write down a couple reports about what happened. And I'm like, no, I don't, but I can go back to my hostel and get it for you. And they throw me in the back of the truck and take me over to my hostel. When we get back to the hostel, I grab my wallet, passport, come back downstairs and hop into the truck and off we go to the police station. I get to the police station and right away, the cop asked me for my wallet and my passport and I asked him, why'd you need my wallet? And he took all my money out, stuck it into his blouse, handed it back to me and walked off with my passport. And I was like, no, 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 no. What, what the fuck? Give me back my money. Like, and I started, I started to cause a scene. Like I started to get real ghetto in there. You know, I caused the scene and they ended up bringing the, even the supervisor out who was asleep and his boxers out to come talk to me and calm me down. And I was like, no, your officer just stole money from my wallet and put it in his shirt. He goes and grabs the cop, takes the money out of his shirt, sticks it back into my pocket and tells me to get the fuck out of the police station. And I told him, so you're not going to write down the report? And he said, no. He's like, I'm not writing down the report. He's like, you didn't get robbed here. You slipped and fell. Man, I lost my shit. I lost my shit. So, so yeah, he tried to say I slipped and fell. I didn't slip and fall on shit. You know what I mean? So I got my money back left that police station and started walking my ass back to the hostel down the same road I had just got my ass whooped on. I didn't know what I was thinking, but I didn't trust the cops no more. So it's pretty much the story, guys. I, 
I mean, the rest of the night went something like this. I went home, washed up, fell asleep, woke up the next morning, and got my ass out of fucking Panama. I got on the next bus to Costa Rica, and yeah, I had enough. Basically, guys, it was the lack of the common sense that I usually do have and me being drunk that caused this. What happened to me happens to so many people all around the world. The thing is, you just always have to take as much caution as possible. Always make sure you tell somebody where you're going. Always make sure you're walking down streets that are lit up. Always make sure you're walking around places that you know, not places that you don't know, especially in a foreign country. Come on. Come on, Chris. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. That was my little story. You guys know what I have to deal with for the rest of my life. But maybe this could be a start to a story time segment on my channel. Let me know, guys. Appreciate the love. Peace.